Hello everyone and welcome to a Magic Online video. I am BBD and I'm going to be battling something a little different than my normal fare. I am playing Cons of Tarkir Sealed. So uh, I have been doing very poorly at this format, but uh, I am testing for Grand Prix Baltimore this weekend and I feel like some of you may be doing the same thing. So I recorded this video in hopes that we could maybe learn together uh, on the road to hopefully dominating this Grand Prix. So I am set to play in this event. It's going to start in a good old 40 seconds. And, uh, I mean, this event is loaded with some luminaries such as I Eat Breakfast and At Your Mom's House. So, uh, hopefully your mom has fantastic internet or else, uh, his magic online experience is going to suck. But, um... Yeah, we're going to get some uh, packs here in about 20 seconds, and then we're going to build some decks, or a deck. Uh, hopefully just one. Hopefully our pool's really sweet. And uh, yeah, so stick around for that. Should be a delight. At least I hope so. Hopefully it won't be Epic Fail 1990, but it probably will be. All right, come on, top deck. Huh? Come on, leg. <laughs> All right, show us the pool. Let's get the program here. Come on, Moto. Tilt. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's load. I, I can see the loading thing. It's loading. Uh, what, uh, come on, you know, High Sentinels of Arashan or Wingmate Rock. I've actually never opened either of those cards in a lot of seals. So it's time to change that when this thing loads. This is really awkward. Okay, all right, here we go. My deck building has started. I'm already a minute into deck building, guy. That's just a tilt right there. All right, so let's see. First things first, you guys can only see part of the screen. So let's go ahead and get the entire screen in here. All right, so first things first, I want to sort by rarity. I just like to look at my rares. Ooh, Ashcloud Phoenix, Flying Crane, Rattleclaw, Tusker. Um, so right off the bat, Teamer just looks like a winning strategy here. And we also have a trail. Um, Dragon Throne Tark here is pretty garbagey. Crane Technique's only okay. It's not as good as everyone thinks it is. Um, so now I like to sort by color. Ooh, I just sort by converted mana cost, but that's actually good because um, the first thing I look at is these lands. So let's put these down here um, and, and just see what our mana looks like. And then now start, sort by color again. All right, so it looks like we have a lot of red. Uh, producing lands, a lot of blue. We have a lot of red, blue, and a lot of white. A lot of red, blue, and white. Um, red, blue, white. So Jeskai. Uh, Jeskai looks great, but we also have that Rattleclaw and stuff, so yeah. Now I'm going to pull out the cards by color that are actually playable here. So white, we have Watcher, uh, Jeskai Student. Our white's real shallow. We, have, we don't have a lot of good stuff in here. I mean, there's some playables here, but nothing exciting. Let's look at blue. Water World's great. Um, actually, I'm going to sort this by color here so we can just have the colors by themselves. Um, Setter Drift's okay. Stalker's good. Scion's good. Weave Fates are great. Mistfire Weaver's good. Crippling Chill is good. Jeskai Elder. Uh, our blue's pretty deep. Our red, we have Aerostorm. Uh, Canyon Lurkers is just a, a thing. Burn Away. Ash Cloud Phoenix is great. War Shrieker's great. Uh, Bring Low's good. Leaping Master's good. Um, so we have some solid cards here, but there's nothing just like super blow me away. There's a High Spire Mantis, uh, a Winter Flame. Uh, we have. I know there's that Flying Crane. Oh, uh, Jeskai Charm and a Flying Crane Technique. That's actually pretty gassy. God, what is going on here? All right, Flying Crane Technique, Jeskai Charm. Uh, Moto, get your get your act together. Uh, so we have some sweet. Uh, Pretty good setup here, I think. Uh, but let's look at the other colors too. Black is god awful. Like we have two skull hunters, which are great, and a bit of revelation, which is really good. But the rest of the black's just real bad. Uh, green, two archers, parapets, a rattle claw, two grizzlies, 
two Awakened Bears, a Pine Walker, a Mandrills, and a Wooly. Woof! And we have a Teamer Charm, an Avalanche Tusker, a Secret Plans, maybe. Okay, so right off the bat, I see that green looks great. Additionally, Teamer looks great. Our white cards are not so great. All right, so first things first, let's build a Teamer deck. So uh, Teamer just looks like the standout here in terms of like powerful colors. So anything that's not Teamer, let's just get out of here right now. Get these white cards out of here. Get out of here. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that Crippling Chill. Uh, okay, unfortunately Moto's lagging a lot, so that's kind of awkward for us. Uh, let's punch this up a little bit to give us more room. Okay, so let's go ahead and lay things out how we want them. So, two drop, three drop. I like to put my spells down below just as a um, and then my creatures up above is just a, a way I like to lay it out. Alright, so we have a Mistfire Weaver, a Scion, and a War Shrieker. We have a Pine Walker, a couple Canyon Lurkers, a Burnaway, an Arrow Storm. Let's see, Glacial Stalks down here, Woolies down here, Old Hoots Magoot. Alright, so there's a lot of powerful cards here. Uh, 34 cards. I mean, we're going to have to cut a number of these, but this looks like a really powerful deck. So this is my first take is Teamer. So basically what I did to arrive at this is I went through all my colors individually, identified what I thought my most powerful colors were, and then put together a deck based on that. Um, and so it looks like this. Now, let's go ahead and cut a lot of the chaff and see what we look like after cutting the chaff. So just by Elder... Uh, so like Leaping Master is a 2-1 for 2, no abilities, out of here. Archer's Parapet, we're not activating, out of here. Um, some of these 3 drops are going to be real awk. Word. Sorry, that's a little... Uh, let's get this Mardu War Shrieker out of here. Um, maybe we play it, but we don't have that many morphs to really utilize it. Same with Secret Plans, we don't have that many morphs to get Secret Plans out of here. Um, I like all these spells, they're all really good. I like these spells, they're good. Uh, set Adrift seems loose. Water Roll is just a better version of the same card. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so here we're down to 28 cards. Now I like this a lot better. We have 14 creatures and we have 12 spells. Um, so 26 cards that are not lands. And I think this is a 17 land deck for curve super low. So, and we have a Rattle Claw. Now, if we had some two drops, that'd be great. We don't. We have Leaping Master, but it's not great. Um, but yeah, I think this looks, looks great. So we want to cut some stuff here. I like actually like Canyon Lurkers a lot because we have these Awaken the Bears. And we have like Winter Flame and Bring Low. Like, it's just very aggressive. But it's probably worse than our other threes so all right let's let's try without canyon lurkers and hooting mandrels just seems awkward in this deck too but that's only 11 creatures so let's just bring the mandrels back in so this is 12 creatures 12 spells so we'd have to cut a spell um my instinct is saying to cut weave fate although this card's actually been very good for me in decks even in decks like this so where you play out a couple of early guys and then you pressure them a bit and then you can use Weave Fate to find like Aerostorm and things like that to, to close the game out. Huh. I'm actually, this deck looks exciting to me. I, I, like, I like the looks of this thing. Um, what do I want to cut? I do have to cut something. Like 12 creatures is the minimum I want to play because we have all these pump spells. One, two... Like, I almost want a 13th creature, but unfortunately, our options are a little limited in that regard. Red, white, and blue, white. 
We actually kind of get a free white splash if we want it. We have two red whites and a blue white lands. So we could play a white as well. That would give us Jeskai Charm. I mean, that's just an option to consider. Technique, High Spire Mantis. It would give us Seeker. You know, maybe one of our colors here isn't, like red actually just doesn't seem that great. So maybe we can play white and red will be our splash color. And that gives us some power. Let's see, we have we would have Horde Chief and Washer the Roost and Just Guy Student and Smite. So now our curve is a lot better. We have we still have these Awaken the Bears and things to go with our prowess guys. So now we want to cut some spell. We want to cut some of this stuff. So like we can cut like hmm. This is interesting. Maybe just guys the way to go. Like maybe this green isn't that great. We don't have any green producing lands either. Uh, we only have nine minutes left. I'm gonna try just straight just guy. Let's let's look at just straight just guy. Maybe it's much better than I thought it was. So cut all the green. Huh. And see where that puts us. So then we, we would play these lurkers again. We play the war shrieker, the leaping master. Uh, we would probably play Behemoth. How many? We don't have that many warriors, do we? Yeah, no, that's still really a warrior. All right. Well, we'd have to cut Awaken the Bear. Team or Charm. Hmm. I don't think Behemoth is where we want to be. So here we have two chills. We have a Winter Flame, a Just Guy Charm, a Smite, a couple of Weaves, a Bring. We have a lot of removal, and we have a Trick in Flying Crane Technique. And we're really making use of... Man, this, this deck looks, looks like gas. I like this deck a lot. Uh, we have to cut three cards, though. So I want to cut the two Weave Fates, I guess. Man, I like that card so much, but... Might just not be where we want to be. And I kind of want to cut the smite as well. We already have a lot of removal. So yeah, cutting the smite is just awkward as a situational removal spell. Alright, so then we have 17 lands and a sick looking deck. Um, Alright, let me pull open a notepad file and see how we want to do the mana base. So, uh, blue sources, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 blue. Uh, so we have 12. Uh, let's look at red. Red sources, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 red sources, we have a lot, a lot of red sources. Uh, and then white sources. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven white sources. All right. And then let's look at the mana we have here. We have one, two, three blue. So we have three blue. Uh, red, we have one, two, three, four. And white, we have, I believe, three, three. Okay. So, and we have uh, 12 lands to work with. And so we want to make our mana effective here. So white, we probably only want, we have 12 lands to work with, we probably only want three planes in our deck. Um, and then that would leave us with nine lands to work with, and we probably want five of these, four of these, so that would be seven for 12, nine for 14, six for seven. 
Let's let's look at double though. Yeah, red has more double than blue. So I think we're better off with um a little bit more red sources than blue sources. Only seven blue sources though seems real low. So one option we could do is play the old 18. Uh, just play an 18th land as a 41st card. And I actually like that a lot. And that would give us eight blue sources, nine red sources, six white sources. I think that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, what was our cut? Three. We want five. We want five and five. Three, five, five. Yeah. All right, so this is 41 cards here. So I'm going to submit this deck right now, and I'm going to save this deck as uh, Jeskai. So now we have this Jeskai deck saved. And now, since this, well, this deck's saved, let's rebuild that Teamer deck, just as maybe we want to side into it, depending on what our matchup is. So let's throw, let's get rid of all these cards. And uh, let's sort by color again and then pull them all back out, the ones we care about, like Water World, Set Adrift. Yeah, let's just grab all these cards for this Teamer deck. We can play Embodiment, Storm. Um, just anything we would want to play in the Teamer deck. Oh man, this Moto is getting crazy here. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. All right, and these green cards we want Rattle Claw, Grizzlies, Bears, Pine Walker, Hooting, and Wooly. All right, so now we got this deck set up again. And I think that's everything we would reasonably want. So let's go ahead and sort. Um, all right, so Secret Plants down here Teamer Charm, Winter Flame, Awaken, and Crippling Chill. All right, so I don't know that we would how often we would want to play this deck, but it is an option to consider at some point. And I'm not sh I, I I don't know like what we would see from our opponent that would cause us to want to switch into this, but I just think it's reasonable to consider it, this. And team teamer lands we don't get the crag, we don't get the tranquil cove. So 32, so um we don't need the embodiment because our mana is Fine, and we don't need all these threes, so I guess we were cutting Canyon Lurker before. Was our cut uh, Secret Plans we were cutting? Set of Drift we were cutting. So now this is 27. We'd have to cut two more cards. Um, I think the War Shrieker is one of the ones that we wanted to cut, and we'd have to cut one more card, probably one of these weaves. So now... This is another deck, too, we could have. It's only 12 creatures, a couple of pump spells. Uh, but, yeah, this deck looks fine as well. <clears throat> um, second, sorry. The, just something. So what I'm going to do is um, I will go ahead and save this as Teamer. Well, let's add the lands for it first. So, blue, red, green. Um, so we have two blue, red. So two blue, two red, zero green. Um, red sources in the deck. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only nine. Uh, nine red. Oh, wait, that's this number here. 9 red, blue. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. A lot of blue sources. Green, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I only count the morphs as one because you generally are just playing as a morph. So. Um, and then we have 2 and 2, and we have 15 more lands to go. So we would need like 7 forests probably. That leaves us with eight lands to do like four and four. Uh, three. Oh man, three and six. Um, I guess we could do the 18 lands thing again. So four of these, five of these. So that'd be seven for 13. Seven. Uh, so that'd be 12, 16, 17, 18. 
Yeah, I mean, our mana is definitely worse with this deck. I think we cut Arrow Storm and bring We Fate back, and that makes our red better. So then we can only we only need to play three red sources. We can play an extra one of these. Extra blue. So that's 13, 16, 17, 18. Six island, three mountain, seven forest. Six island, three mountain, seven forests. Okay. Um, yep. So let's save this deck as teamer. So we have this as an option to side into if we want to. And now let's go ahead and load Just Guy. Load our Just Guy deck again. Okay. And now um, I'm just going to submit this again just for safety's sake because you never know with Magic Online. Um, and then let's let's go ahead and you know think about some of the things that we might want to bring in at certain points. Uh, we have a uh, Smite, a Behemoth. A couple of Wii Fates, like again, super grindy decks, we're probably going to want to bring these Wii Fates in. Uh, we have an Act of Treason that could be good in some matchups. And um, we could also try Splashing Green at some point too and try the four color deck. But we only have uh, five non basics, so I'm, I'm not a super fan of that. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching that. That was the deck building. I'm going to stop there and restart again when round one begins. So stay tuned for that and see how our Jeskai deck does.